me start recording. Okay, so this is a uh, sample answer for exercise 2-1 to the array. Okay, so basically you're going to uh, to apa, to print, uh, bukan print out, to produce this kind of output lah. You will ask user how many number, how many total number to be calculated and how many total value or how many value. Okay. And then based on that one, user will enter uh, for value 1, value 2, value 3 for the total number 1 and etc. Okay. Okay, so here what I did is first I ask user enter number enter number of total value to be calculated. Second, I will ask user enter number of value. So, number of value will be stored in variable name numval. For number of total value will be stored in num total. Okay. After that, I will create um, one variable name is value. This variable is in 2D array. Okay. So, that's why you can see here. I have 2D array. Uh, one for row and another one for column. Okay. For column, I have 0. For call, in range, okay. Column is based on num value. Okay, so means that for one total value, you can have many values. Okay, and then another one, I have for row, index for row. For row, in range, num total. Based on how many num total to be calculated. Okay. Okay, next, I have another variable. To, uh, this is 1D variable, name is total. So, this total is actually, the, the aim of this total is we want to calculate the total value based on values here. Okay. So, we have here 0 for row in range num total. Okay. And then, uh, after that, we will ask user to enter the value, this value for this one value here and then will be stored in 2D array. Value, row and uh, for each row, for each column. Okay. And then after that, we will calculate the total for that uh, total value. Based on total for that row, we will plus with value for that column for that row. Okay. I will, I will uh, debug later. Okay, so here I'm going to change this one. Uh, so let's say total lah, okay. Total 1, total 2. Okay. Number ni confuse sikit. So I'm going to put total here. Okay, so this one is for enter. For user enter the value. And this one is to print out the value inside our array list. Okay. And this one is to determine the total in which category. Okay. Let's debug. So, total value. Uh, let's say I said two total value. How many number of value? So, let's say I said three. Okay, so means that for each total value, we're going to have three values. Okay. Okay, now I create value, variable value in 2D. So, you can see here we have... Two row, three columns. Okay. One, two, two row. For each row, we have three columns. One, two, three. Okay. Understand so far, class? Yes. Okay. Next, we create total. Total is in 1D array. So, we have two total here. One and two. Okay. The initial value is, uh, is zero. So now we will ask user to enter the value for row in range 2, row starting with 0. Okay, so now we will enter for total number 1. Okay, for total number 1, for that column, for column in range num value which is 3. So now we have row 0, column 0. Okay. Row zero, col uh, row 0, column 0 will be stored in this one. Value row 0, column 0 here. Okay. 
enter value, enter value number 1. Okay, so we're going to enter value for value row 0, column 0. Let's say I enter uh, 27. Okay, so you can see now 27 already entered in the value row 0, column 0. Okay, next we will calculate the total. Total equal to total row 0 which is 0, plus with value row 0, this one, column 0, which is 27. So, 0 plus 27, we get current total for row 0 is 27. Okay, so you can see here, 27. Next, we move to the next column in the same row, okay, which is column index 1. Okay, we're going to enter value for second value, value 2 for total 1. So, let's say I put here 34. I enter 24. Okay, 34, sorry. So, you can see here 34 is entered. Okay, now we have total equal to total current row is still the same row which is row 0. So, current total, uh, total row 0 is 27. Okay. And value row 0, column 1 is 34. So, we get 61 for the current total. Okay. Next, we move to the next column in the same row, which is next value or the third value in total 1. Okay. Okay, so now we want to enter value 3. Okay, let's say I, I enter 37. Okay, so 37 is here and then uh, saya ter, terlaju tadi. So, when we calculate total, we get 98. Okay, because we, end, we plus with 37. Okay, now... Uh, First row is settled. We done with a uh, first row. We move to the next row, which is row one. Okay, row one means that a uh, total number two. Okay. So now we going to calculate or we going to enter value for total number two. We start with column zero again. Okay, for call in range. Okay, starting from zero. Okay, for, for value 1, let's say I enter 37. Okay, you can see here 37 is entered in row 1, column 0. Okay, now we're going to calculate the total for row 1. Total row 1 is, what is value for total row 1 plus What is the current value for total row 1? Row index 1. Class, what is the value? Hmm? Total, total. For the total. Total row index 1. What is the value, current value? Kelas, berapa? Tengok tu, ada dalam release tu. Berapa? Cepat kelas, kalau tak saya tak move ni. Berapa lapan? Salah. Nine. Salah. Twenty seven. Ini, ini total. Saya tak tanya value. Total. Total. Okay. So, what is the value for total index 1? 2. Nah. Kosong. Kosong. Zero. Aduh. 
Sekejap lah ambil lukis sekejap. Ha, geram lah korang ni. Ni, ni. Nampak? Nampak tak? Ini. Total ni. This one is index 0. Yang ini index 1. We are now at total Mana ni mouse pun. Bagi kita sama lah mouse ni. Mana pergi dah mouse. Masya Allah. Ha, nanti dengar dalam saya punya video duduk bebe. Sekejap eh. Mana mouse ni pergi? Ha okey ada pun. Ha ni 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 mana tadi? Ha, ha, ha ni. So we are now row 0. Okay. Row 0. So when we go here this one is column still 0. Okay, we start with zero. Eh, sorry. Our current row is one. Okay. So, you can see here. Our current row is one. Okay. So, and then when we go here, column reset to zero. Okay. So, when we are here, our total row, what is the index for row class? What is the current index for row? Current index for row. What is the value for row? Current value for row? Zero. Ha, tengok ni. One, one. One. Janganlah. Nak buat, nak buat assignment nanti ni. So, your row now is one. Okay. So, total index one. Total value dia di sini. Value dia dekat sini ni. Ha ni. This one. Total. So that's why lah. Bila awak debug. When you debug. You get this value. Ha this value. Okay. So this this is value inside your total. Okay. Inside your variable total. And the index is 1. So in your total. This index is 0. The next value is index 1. So, you will get this value. Okay? Faham? Faham? Faham, Doktor. Ah, okay. So, now, our total row 1 is 0. Plus with value row 1, which is this value. Ah, this value. And the column is 0. So, what is the value for uh, value row 1 column 0? Ah, ni. 37. 37. So, we get 37 plus with 0. So, now our current total which is total row one uh, total row one here is thirty seven. Okay, ha, ni kat sini dia dapat thirty seven. Next, we move to the next column. We want user to enter next column in the same row. Okay, so let's say user enter forty forty five. Okay. So now 45 is entered in value row 1, column 1. Okay, so you can see here 45. Okay, now we want to calculate the total. Total equal to total, what is the current value for row? 37. Row 1. Okay, row 1. Okay, row 1. So... Total row 1 is 37. Correct. Plus with value row 1. Which is this value for row 1. We, we have 37, 45 and 0 for row 1. And we want to refer to column 1. What is the value for column 1? 45. 45. 45. So we get this one. 37 plus 45. So now our new total is 
82. Okay, new total for row 1 is 82. Ha, you can see here, 82. Okay, next, we move to the next column, which is column number 2, still in the range. Okay, so I enter, let's say I enter 21. 21 will be entered into row 1, column 2. Okay. Now, we're going to total up. Total row 1, our current value for total row 1 is 82. Okay. Plus with value row 1, value row 1 is 37, 45 and 21. But we want to refer to column number 2. Column 2 is, what is the value for column 2? 21. 21. Okay. So we get 82 plus 21. We get 103. So now we get all total values. Okay. For both total value. Okay. Next, we want to print. So this one is uh, summer. Sebelum ni. Okay. We just print it. We print it again. And then we will. We use the same uh, for looping. Okay. And then we will determine in which category. Okay. Uh, okay. Understand class? Yes. Okay. Good. So now we move to the next. Uh, okay. This one. Um, this one is actually how you uh, how you can implement implement your array in functions technique. Okay. So be because before this, uh, you you do function techniques. Okay. So, function techniques is basically a good practice. So, that's why we want to, to show to you how to implement array in your functions technique. Okay. So, in this case, basically, you will pass your array list to function. Okay. Kalau sebelum ni, in normal variable, you will pass value into function. But now, you will pass array list to functions. Okay. Because your value is in array, so you're going to pass array list to functions. Okay. Okay. So, let's say we have here uh, num student. How many num student? And then we have here quiz uh, 0 for index in range num student. So, we have 1D, uh, 1D array here. And then we have another variable, the total equal to 0, just to initialize the value. Okay. And here... When you ask user to enter the quiz into quiz uh, array, okay, based on index here, uh, you will calculate the total for that quiz, okay. Total equal to total plus quiz based on the array. And then you will calculate average equal to total over num student. Now, this, uh, this statement, we will, create, we will do this statement inside a function. The function name is calculate underscore mark. Okay. So, basically how you're going to do it, you will create one uh, one file and you name that file. For example, you name that file as calmark.py. Okay. And inside that, file, inside that file, you will define a function. The function is calculate underscore mark. Okay. Here, you know that in order for you to Calculate the total and also the average. You need this value, quiz. Okay. So, that's why here you have one variable parameter, quiz. You name it, for example, you name it as quiz M. And then another one, because you want to calculate the average, so you need a num student. So, that's why here you have another variable, which is bill student. Okay. Okay, so in our uh, user defined function, we put or we 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 apa tu? We copy and paste all this, all this statement. Okay, so you have here. Okay, however, here you need to calculate it based on this statement lah. Okay, which is in array. Okay, when you part when can uh, this is or oh, tak ada lagi passing kat sini. So, uh, all the calculation for total mark and average mark, 
will be done in this function. Okay. Okay. However, um, you haven't, uh, you need to, what we call, you need to import that function. So, you import by using from the file name, which is calmark, okay, and import all function inside this file, okay. Then, and then, after that, here, kalau in this, uh, in the previous coding, you do the calculation here. But now, you can delete this, this statement. And then, you just call the function. Okay, because all the calculation for total mark and average mark already uh, already done in, the, in this file. So, you just call this function. Call this function, calculate mark and you, <coughs> you pass quiz from here to here and also num student. This num student to here. Okay. And this quiz will be passed to quiz M. Okay. This num student will be passed to bill student. Okay. And then when they do the calculation for total and average in this function, it will return average mark here. So, you will return average mark. When you return average mark, you will pass to average here. Okay. So, this average is another variable that will receive this average mark. Okay. And if you notice here, when you pass this quiz, this quiz is actually in array. So, how you pass it, just pass the variable name, okay, without the index, okay. No need to pass the index, just pass the variable name. When you pass to quiz M, quiz M automatically will be in array, in array. So, you can see here. Quiz M automatically be in array. Okay. So, when you want to pass array into function, just pass the variable name without any index. Okay. Without the index. Okay. Understand class? Doctor, hmm. kalau nama di lain tak apa ke? Quiz M dengan quiz name stood dengan bill stood. Tak, tak, tak ada masalah. Sebab oh. quiz M is in local variable. Local variable here in this function. But this quiz in another, fun, in in main function. Dia function yang berbeza. Ha, ni kan konsep function yang saya cerita dulu sebelum tu. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, let's debug. Pass to function. Pass function. Hmm. Ha, this one. Okay, many to D. Okay, so this one is two D. Okay, so if you see here, we have uh, the same coding tadi. Let's say we, now we want to, I directly debug, okay. I will debug. Okay, so let's debug. Okay, so we have here how many number of students? Let's say I said two students. Okay, so quiz will be two quiz because there are two students. Okay, 
Okay. And then here, I uh, will let user to enter the quiz mark. Let's say I enter 15.7. For the second student, let's say I enter 16.3. Okay, now, okay, take a look, uh, take a careful look here, okay. Uh, focus here. We will call calculate mark, okay. Calculate mark and then we will pass quiz, okay. So you can see here, our value for quiz is here. 15.7 and 16.3. So when we pass to the to the function, we will pass the whole list. Okay, fifteen point seven and sixteen point three, and then we will pass num student, which is two. We pass to calculate mark. It will go to that function inside another file. Okay, so here in our local variable, ah, you can see here. Quiz M automatically have value 15.7 and 16.3. Bill student automatically have 2. Okay, the value is 2. So, we will do, uh, this one is the same the same thing. I will, I will just keep. Okay. Okay, now, now we have average. Our average mark is 16. Based on this calculation, our average mark is 16. So now we will return this average mark, okay? So we will return average mark with, which is 16.0. Go to the caller and then this variable which is average, we receive that value. So you can see here, average, we receive 16 from average mark, okay? And then you will print as usual. Okay, understand class? That's how we implement array in function. Okay, yes. understand? Okay. Yeah. Okay, very simple actually. Uh, uh, beruntung, you you belajar Python. Kawan-kawan uh, awak yang belajar C memang susah. Nak buat passing array in function is very difficult in C. Because you need pointer, you need to know the address, you need to know the location. But in Python, you don't have to think, uh, you don't have to, apa, to pass that, that, uh, that index. You just pass the variable name okay okay now we want to pass to the array list okay so for this example okay we want to pass uh, um, uh, we want to pass here okay into the array okay so let's see the coding to the array this one so let me uh, tutup dulu this one comment this one uh, comment out yeah Comment out and then for to the array. For to the array. Bagaimana? Average row. Sampai average row. Until the average row. Uncomment. And then what else? Average Ada lagi? Ada lagi ke? Hmm, okay. Okay. <coughs> so here. Uh, first we ask student how, uh, we ask user how many student and how many assessments. Okay. The same, uh, the same coding as previous example, okay. Except that for the calculation of, uh, for the calculation for which part? Ah, yang ni kejap, eh? Saya tak tutup lah yang ni. Kejap. Okay, calculation for total mark and average for assessment will be do will be do in uh, we will complete it in this function. Okay, so okay, if we debug this one, how many students? Let's say I said two students, and how many, 
how many assessment let's say i said three assessment okay so means that for each student there are three marks okay so now we have 2d we have 2d array here for assessment and we have 1d array for average okay this part i will enter the value i enter the mark assessment so you can see here mark for student one assessment one so let's say i put uh, 35 assessment 2 43 assessment 3 23 okay for student number two assessment one let's say i put 31 29 uh, 42 okay okay now we will pass this value to the uh, function okay to that function so now we will call this uh, function calculate mark we pass assessment okay the whole assessment here will be passed okay and we pass num student and also num assessment which is two and three okay so we go to that function okay so you can see here in this function the local variable which is ssm will receive all the 2d arrays value okay so this ssm receive the 2d array value and bill assess uh, uh, receive uh, bill assessment bill student receive num of assessment okay so now we have one variable the name is total mark to calculate the total value for total assessment total assessment mark for that student okay in 1d because there are only two student okay and then average mark in 1d as well so you can see here average mark total mark so we're going to calculate total mark for student one average mark for student one total mark for student two average mark for student two okay so now we do the same process as before okay in the looping we will uh, calculate the total mark equal to total mark index zero which is current is zero plus with ssm row zero which is 35 43 and 23 however we want to assess column zero what is value for column zero class now current column zero 35 35 okay so we will get 35 0 plus 35 so our current total mark for student one is 35 so you can see here ah, 35 okay next we move to the next column row 0 which is 35 plus ssm row 0 column 1 which is 43 okay so now we have our total mark is 78 for first student okay we move to the next column the next assessment total row 0 which is 78 plus ssm row 0 column 2 which is 23 so now we get the total mark is 101 next we going to calculate average average is outside second loop outside inner loop okay so total mark row 0 is 101 over bill assess which is 3 so now we get average mark for student 1 is 36 a uh, 33.66664 okay now we move to the next row or the next student do the same thing for column zero which is assessment number one for second student we calculate the total mark for that assessment row one is zero assessment row one column zero which is 31 so now we get the total mark for the next student is 31 next column or next assessment for the same student current 
value for total is 31 plus with SSM row 1 column 1 row 1 column 1 is 29 ok so now we have total mark is 60 ok 60 and then we move to the next column or the next assessment total mark row 1 which is 60 plus SSM row 1 column 2 which is 42 ok so 60 plus 42 we get 102 so now we have total mark for second student is 102 ok we want to calculate average mark for second student outside the inner loop or outside the second loop we calculate the average here average equal to total mark row 1 which is 102 over bills bill assess which is 3 okay so now we have average mark for for student number 2 is 34 okay okay now we will return average okay so in this average mark you can see we have two we have two values which is 33.6664 and 34.0 means that our average mark is in array 1d array so when we pass here we will pass all the values okay so we pass average mark to the caller now average here we receive the value so you can see here average receive 33.6664 and 34.0 okay so that's why here we need to create one array in 1d for this average okay so average is in 1d array and we will uh, print out as usual okay average mark student 1 we got 33.6664 and average mark for second student is 34.0 okay understand class very simple just pass the num the variable name like that. Okay? Faham class? Okay. Faham. Faham eh? Senang je. Okay. Done. We already debug. Okay. This is example. Uh, I want you to recall back in chapter 7. Example to calculate total value here. Okay. So uh, previously in your function, you have uh, main function. You have uh Phi calculate and you have grade calculate. Okay. And then in your main function, you call calculate value here and you call determine grade here. Okay. So this is the the, the function, the, um, the thing that you done in your function previously. Okay. So in your calculate, you have, <coughs> you calculate the total value. Okay, and then you will return total values. Okay. In your grade, in your grade, you will determine the grade. Okay, you will determine the grade. So, in your grade, you need value. A real list consists of value that user enter, the values. Total, um, the list, uh, a real list of total that return fun from function calculate value. And then you have n total, n total here uh, for the row size and also n value here for the column size, okay? Okay, so this is your main function. Okay, you have here total equal to calculate value, you will pass value from here. Okay, you will pass value to here. So, means that you're going to pass 2D array because your value have 2D uh, uh, values. And then you pass num total from here. Okay, and you pass num val from here. Okay, you will pass to calculate value. And for determine grade, you will pass value, this one. 
you will pass total come from this one okay come from this uh, function here you will pass num total the same from here and you will pass num value also the same from here okay so the same output you will get the same output from this function or from this uh, function techniques okay okay let me debug to show to you this uh, how we want to uh, pass the 2d array in this coding okay the same thing actually example example mana ni example 3 example 3 you need to do this coding okay class Okay, okay. Now we have uh, calculate total or calculate value total value inside this function. Calculate underscore value, okay. And then we have grade to determine the grade inside our function. Determine underscore grade, okay. Let's debug. Call the function. Enter number of value to be calculated. Let's say I said 2. Enter number of total value 3. Okay. So this one is the same thing as previous. Okay. Now this one you ask user to enter the value into the uh, variable value. Okay. So enter for... Uh, Number 1, enter value 1, let's say 23, value 2, 34, 43. Okay, for number 2, value 1, 36, 41, 29. Okay, okay now we're going to pass this value, okay, we're going to pass all this value, okay, into calculate value, function calculate value. So, we will pass value, okay. The variable name value. So, it will pass all the value here. Okay. So, that's why we have all the values here. And then, we will pass num total, which is 2. We will pass num value, which is 3. Okay. We pass to calculate value. And go to this function. So, in this function, you can see values here. We receive value into D. Okay. Row size here, we receive 2, which is number of total value. Column size, we receive 3, which is number of values. Okay. So, next, we uh, we create one uh, total value in 1D. Okay. And then, we calculate the total value, the same as previous example. So, because this one is in 2D, so we need uh, two uh, nested loop. Total value equal to total values row 0, which is 0, plus with value row 0, which is 23, 34, and 53, and column 0, 23. Okay. So, after we, uh, we calculate all the total value for all the uh, values too, so, now we get the total value. So, you can see here our total value is, for the first total value is 100, for the second total value is 106. Okay. Now, we want to return to the caller this value. We return 100 and 106 to the caller and total, we receive this value. Okay. So, you can see here in our main, in our main file, Total receive 100 and 106. Okay. 
from calculate underscore value. Okay, now we will determine the grade of that total values. So we call determine grade, we pass value again because we want to print out the values and we pass total that we receive here. We receive here. So we pass total which is 100 and 106 and we pass num total to we pass also num val which is 3. We pass to the determine grade. Okay, here, inside our determine grade, uh, we receive all the values. Value, we get the value. Total, we get the total. And while we get uh, number of values. And total, we get the number of total value. Okay. Okay, so the same thing, this one, we just, you just want to print out the values. So you get the values here. For number 1, 23, 34, 53. For number, and then you get the total, which is 100. You determine in which category. Yes, pass with A. For the second total value, you do the same thing. You get the, uh, you print out the value 1, 63, value 2, 50, 41, value 3, 29. And you print out the total, which is 106. And you de determine the grade, which is yes, pass with A. Okay. Okay, class, understand this is how you do punch, uh, you do array in function. You just pass the value. Okay. Faham, class? Understand? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, now you, I think you, okay lah. Sebab uh, you just uh, watch, uh, uh, you just uh, monitor how I do the uh, apa tu, the debug, okay. But, when you want to do by your own, it's very difficult lah actually, okay. Okay, before we proceed with exercise, I just want to introduce you with matrices operation. Let's say in future, you want to use a matrix operation. Uh, in Python, we have uh, one variable, uh, one library named NumPy, okay. NumPy is the core library for scientific computing. Inside NumPy, we have many functions for uh, matrices operations. For example, we have add, subtract, divide, multiply, dot, and transpose. Okay, so you can have you can you can try to use in future. So this is the example. I hope you can uh, try to code this coding, and you can see what is the output for each uh, print display here. Okay. Okay. You can try by your own because I'm not going to go further in this matrices operation. Okay. Okay. Next, we move to exercise. I want you to do, this is the first exercise using the same exercise for robot arm. I want you to enhance the robot arm program by implementing a release. Okay. Uh, before this, we have theta. We have length, this one, right? We have theta, we have length. Okay, so now this theta and this length, I want you to create a ray list for this theta and a ray list for this length. Okay, so means that you're going to have a few number of robot. Okay, and then you will ask user to enter the theta for robot 1, theta for robot 2, uh, length for robot 1, length for robot 2 in a ray. Okay. So, this is the first exercise. Boleh, class? Boleh. Okay. Second exercise is tax system. Tax system, also I want you to enhance the tax system program by implementing 2D array list. Okay. Use that 2D array list to store employees info. Last time, uh, you will ask user. User is uh, majikan tu lah kan? User will... Uh, we'll enter the employee's info, employee ID, employee name and taxable yearly salary. And then you will ask user, do you want to continue for the next employee? Okay, now I don't want you to do like that. I want you to ask user, how many number of employees? And then based on this number of employee, you will create the 2D array list. Okay, 2D array list. And then inside that, 
to the array list, you have a column that will store employee ID, employee name and taxable yearly salary. Okay. Okay. So, this is uh, apa tu orang kata structure. Structure for that coding, for this coding. You will ask user how many number of employee. And then here, you will uh, create one uh, to the array. Okay, to the array list. And then here, you will allow user to enter the employee's info in to the array. Okay, so that's why you have one uh, for looping and another for looping. So here, you're going to do your own, your own, apa, your own coding here. Okay, and then you will uh, call function, determine text, and then you have to think. What are the parameters that you're going to pass? And then also you have another another function which is print output. And you have to think what are the parameters that you're going to pass. Okay. So this one is based on exercise in chapter 7 last time for tax system. Okay. Boleh class? Boleh. Boleh. Yeah, buat dulu. Okay. Next exercise is hard level. You, I want you to calculate purchase discount. Uh, enhance the calculate purchase discount in chapter 7 by implementing any appropriate array list. You have to think what is the appropriate array, uh, array, uh, array techniques that you need to do in this purchase discount program. Okay. Use the array list to pass the value into related functions. Okay, so there are three exercises that you have to do. Boleh, class? Boleh. Okay. Is there any question? Tak ada. 